This is Christopher Murray demonstrating long fist, temp tway, road seven. First, the form. Clearing, kick, yin yang hands, kick, mule kick, here, coming around, and clear. That last part. You're coming around and clearing. Artistically, you're here. Artistically. And when you're doing it for real, you're here, coming in, elbow, striking the waist, striking the groin or stomach. Bring Bob closer in. Come here, Bob. So again, with Bob here, if you, if he's coming in this way, and you come inside, elbow, he's trying to get you into a, a lock or a bear hug or something, elbow, and use your waist. You, you, right now you can't hit him in the gut from this hand, so just use your waist. Get your waist out of the way. So you center yourself. Clear the arms, elbow, follow through. You can also do it another different way. Simply here, arms here, clearing the face, striking the gut. You see that one in movies a lot. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, beginning. Excuse me, Bob. <laughs> So the beginning of the technique, or the sequence of the form, is here. That's obvious what that is. You're catching a kick, pushing it away. Now, it doesn't have to be a kick. It could also be just simply your guards up, and you gather and kick. So maybe he's coming in with one of these, one of these, whatever it may be. This is just to clear as you kick in, use of the stomach, chin, whatever you can get to. If you're kicking high, prepare for that grab. Kick low, better chance of actually making contact. But if you can get kick the chin, go for it. Out there. <laughs> in, in competitions, you don't do that. Moving on. So the next technique is here and here. That one's pretty self-explanatory. You're clearing the arm, arm bar, kick. That's it. It's just fancier doing that. That's just the fancy version. Practical version, fancy version. You can also do it this way. That's fancy. Realistically, that's what you're doing. Arm bar, kick. Now that doesn't have to be an arm bar. It could also just be, I don't need to use Bob, just clear to the other side of him, kick. Maybe to the knee, to the side, whatever it may be. So again, you can just be clearing and delivering a kick. Technique is still there. Just you directing it, stepping around him, and kicking it. Uh, after that, oh, this one. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Grab, control, sweep. Again, it's, it's not like a little step. It's this. The idea is you're kicking his leg. Well, you got him in an arm bar. You're reaching for his head, getting underneath his chin, and then kicking out. <laughs> uh, that's fine. Kicking out his leg while his head goes that way. Next part is the mule kick. That one's a, that one's already self-explanatory from Tan Toy. Don't need to go into that. Um, after the mule kick, 
It's here. Elbow, clear. Again, I demonstrated that on Bob. Artistically, all you're doing after the mule kick is you're doing one full circle and then clear. Artistically. But the technique is this comes in with the elbow. That whole momentum of the turn is with the elbow, lift the chin, strike. You can do that in a lot of different other methods. Spar with it, get the gloves on, see what you can do. These are just basic techniques of long fist, 10 twig, road seven. Thank you.